Yeah, look how beautiful it is out there. It's pure. Overlooking the bay. Sun coming up. Gorgeous. Wow, what a beautiful day at the park. We're here at Cole Park here in Corpus Christi. Just overlooks the bay. And uh, I think I'm actually seeing a dolphin out there in the bay this morning. And that's beautiful. I haven't seen him out here. Of course, it's uh, usually not this calm. You should look out there. It's not usually that calm during the day, but uh, today's an especially calm day, and that's great. Hi, Russ Hess, Open Talk, RussHess.com. Hey, just wanted to give you an update where I'm at. I'm going to walk around the park here a little bit as I'm talking to you. And uh, what I've been able to do is a few things. I want to talk to you about a few things that uh, have been going on since the last time I talked to you. And uh, that is, is that I have worked on reducing some of my debt. Uh, I know we talked about the, uh, some of the credit card debt. I uh, haven't worked greatly on that. I do have some plans this month for at least one payoff on, on uh, one of my cards. So that's good. That'll give us uh, about $100 to work with for the next month. And that's a good thing. I uh, do have to pay that off this month, a uh, special promotion going on with that, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, otherwise, I start accruing some interest on that, and so I just have to make sure I get that, that knocked out. And uh, anyway, there's a, a few other things I want to talk to you about. Uh, I got some uh, advice from Dan Celia from Financial issues.org is listening to his show and uh, somebody is in kind of the same predicament now he didn't go into all the grainy details but somebody that's in the same kind of predicament that I am and trying to pay down my credit card debt trying to pay you know get more income coming in a good good person as far as I know <laughs> well, as far as I know of course um, you know, just somebody that's uh, had some financial issues, one reason or another, and they're just trying to, uh, you know, they have some life changes and whatnot, and they're just hit with uh, a little bit more bills and whatnot than they have money to uh, knock down, but they're able to maintain that debt one way or another. And um, that is done through, you know, principles uh, and as I had mentioned before the principles are to uh, you know start paying your debt start knocking that debt down to to some degree little by little and snowballing and this is the same information that I got as uh, I was going through <clears throat> my situation uh, and that is is uh, kind of working with uh, that snowballing effect, I guess, if you will, is where you pay one credit card down and you use the, what you would pay on that credit card to for the next month to pay down another bill uh, or you know some of your revolving credit or loans or whatever the case may be. And that does seem a little bit like a little bit, but it does work over time. So just bear in mind, it's something that, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of uh, oh, leverage on it, but it does tend to, to work. Uh, you just have to be patient with it and nail that down as best as you can. Uh, so that's one thing, and you can look up Dan Celia. He is, he's got a ministry that is, uh, and I'm not trying to you know, promote anything there, just saying uh, most of his stuff is offered freely. You can get a membership if you like. Uh, but again, that's Dan Celia, and it's with financialissues.org. Uh, you may want to look him up. He's a good resource for 
you know, just basic information, trying to help out people. And so I'm all about that. That's why I'm doing these videos is, you know, hey, this is what I'm going through. And if I can help you either avoid issues or help you get leverage on your situation, like I'm trying to get leverage, uh, you know, let's hope and have faith together, basically. Kind of band together, band together as brothers and sisters and see what we can do to kind of help one another if possible. That's the whole purpose here. Um, you know, some other things are that, uh, like I said, I've got things in motion. I haven't heard word back on my two other uh, jobs, my part-time job and my, uh, my uh, full-time job, uh, which would be one of part-time job would help out, you know, temporarily to uh, build up a little bit of income so I can start paying off some of these debts a little bit quicker. And then my uh, full-time promotion job would be, uh, you know, be good, you know, over time, and that would help out as well. Uh, I won't talk to about those too much more, I think, uh, until they actually start crystallizing and become reality. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's hopeful at this point. Um, and like I said, I haven't heard anything. I didn't expect I would hear anything as of yet. So as those plays out, those play out, I'll go ahead and um, include those in on the issues uh, or the episodes. The uh, other things are, you know, I start realizing, and I've heard this guy before, his name's Pat Flynn. He um, started much like I have, uh, to some degree, uh, but he is has a website that is um, smartpassiveincome.com, and I've listened to Pat Flynn for a long time. I don't think I've actually implemented anything that he's talked about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking a look at at his website, and possibly he has he's a podcaster, so he has quite a few. Uh, free resources out there at his website. Uh, I genuinely think he's trying to help people. Um, you know, from what I've heard before, he, uh, you know, you just if you're willing to work, if you're willing to put the front end work into a passive income, I think you can you can do it. Now, am I promoting these guys because I'm going to make money off of them? No, I'm trying to find every avenue possible to try to get where I need to go. And if that's the case, um, I'm going to start taking a look at, you know, how to do that. Um, it's an avenue. It's something that's going to help. Um, and that's, you know, why not? What else am I doing? You know, um, if something's going to help you and it's, you know, it's good and great and it's, you know, can be a blessing to you, then why not do it? Uh, at least research it and find out if it's for you or if it's anything that you can do or anything that uh, you're capable of doing. Uh, my thought is, is yeah, probably is. So with that in mind, um, you know, I'm going to include that in on, uh, on this. Uh, I'll put some uh, in the show notes, I'll put some uh, links there to uh, his website as well as Dan Celia um, and his website but you know I just wanted to uh, reach out to you and let you know I am moving forward I am trying to get the best possible result it does seem slow um, and you know here one of the later episodes here I'm going to start addressing some of the things that I've been feeling as I've been going through this and that is is uh, you know I won't address it completely here but I want to start addressing the situation you know how to keep yourself uh, up <laughs> you know and not feel overwhelmed uh, I'm not sure I got a handle on that I often don't feel like I have a handle on a lot of things there's uh, a lot of things hitting me besides financial right now that are um, difficult um, issues and so you know I'm just hitting the financial right now because that's honestly the easiest one to to share with you uh, and it also there's a lot of folks that can help you with that one um, although you know it requires you doing the work 
So that being said, there is a good chance for leverage with uh, the financial aspect. In any event, this is Russ Hess, RussHess.com, open talk with Russ Hess. You have a great day. We'll see you in the next episode.